Hey, it's your favorite science teacher. I know you miss me today. It is an e-learning day again, but you know, some of you, it's always an e-learning day um, for virtual students. But uh, what we're doing is we're going over cellular respiration and photosynthesis. And so what I want you to do is I want you to fill out the notes as I go along with you and learn how to do this. I'm looking at a quiz possibly as early as Wednesday and Thursday. So make sure you know this. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen with you. All right, and so here is our notes right here. Let me save this real quick. All right, and so starting off, um, photosynthesis happens in most autotrophs, all right? Uh, they happen in autotrophs. And if you remember, autotrophs are organisms that make their own food and producers. And you say, well, I would think that it happens in every autotroph. And no, it doesn't. Because there's another type of process called chemosynthesis. And it's where organisms make their own food, but not with uh, light. They make it with chemicals and stuff. And this um, often happens with some organisms that are uh, near ocean vents and in the deep sea where they don't get light. But these are, again, happens in autotrophs. Photosynthesis typically happens in autotrophs and producers. Happens in all plants. All plants do photosynthesis. And in some, protists. All right, in some, protists. And in some, bacteria. Uh, happens in the chloroplast of the cell. This happens, this process happens in the chloroplast of the cell. And its purpose is so that the plant can make its own food, okay? To make, to make the food for the plant, all right? And it makes the food for the plant or producer here. And that food is glucose, all right? That food is glucose the sugar. If you remember, a, anything that ends with O's typically is going to be a sugar, a carbohydrate. A summary of this reaction. It's a series of chemical reactions that produces sugar in the form of glucose, or a, which is a carbohydrate. Glucose is a carbohydrate, a, a type of organic compound. Carbohydrate. All right, and so that's what we are dealing with here. Um, it also um, produces blank for the plant and for the, or and for the atmosphere. It produces oxygen as a byproduct. It also, photosynthesis produces oxygen, O2, for the plant and for the atmosphere. All right, um, here is the chemical equation for photosynthesis. All right, it starts with six CO2. What is CO2? Mm -hmm. Carbon dioxide. And then it has six H2O. What's the formula for water? H2O, I think I may even said it. All right, so six H2O or six water molecules. And then what it produces, it produces C6H12O6, this big compound. This big compound is glucose. And it produces six oxygen gas molecules, 6O2. All right, and so you kind of see how this compound is done. It's carbon dioxide plus water yields glucose and oxygen, okay? And these things on the left, what do we call these things that you start with in a chemical reaction? These are the reactants. What do you call the things on the right? Those are the products, all right? So the reactants, uh, these things break down and they form these things. And it's not over one chemical reaction. Actually, photosynthesis is many chemical reactions, like 20 to 30 different chemical reactions, at least. And, but this is the overall what happens in the end. 
for that carbon dioxide in water produces glucose and oxygen gas. It's like many chemical reactions. But this does reuse sunlight. Uh, and it uses uh, and that uh, uses a, a thing that's called a pigment that traps the sunlight. And that pigment it is, is called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a pigment used to uh, absorb the sunlight. Um, a pigment is a compound that absorbs light energy. So a pigment is a compound that absorbs light energy, kind of like a sponge. What does a sponge absorb? It absorbs liquids and water and stuff like that. Well, a pigment doesn't absorb liquids. It absorbs light energy. It's, uh, it absorbs, it takes it in. Um, and, but it doesn't always absorb everything. Chlorophyll is an example of that. It, a chlorophyll absorbs many spectrums of light, except for green. That's what, uh, that's what makes what it, um, that's what it reflects. In fact, out of the white light, um, chlorophyll, chlorophyll or absorbs uh, blue, violet and red light. All right, and it reflects the green light. That's why plants appear green because their chlorophyll doesn't absorb the green light, it actually uh, reflects it. And that's why, again, the light shining down and reflects that color light. Um, all right. Uh, in the fall, chlorophyll pigments are the, these chlorophyll pigments, which are proteins, break down because the blank drops, the temperature drops. Okay, the temperature drops. All right, and when the temperature drops, uh, other pigments stay together a little bit longer, and and those other pigments are called carotenoids. All right, carotenoids. All right, um, uh, and they still are working and they reflect orange and red light. They reflect orange and red light. So that's why the leaf looks orange and red in the fall because the chlorophylls died uh, or broken down, uh, not died, but broken down and the carotenoids uh, are still working. And so that's why the, the leaves will look orangish or red. And so that's our fall colors. Um, and that should be an apostrophe right there. That's what it reflects. All right, now over here to cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is what, um, it is what provides usable blank for each cell, usable energy for each cell in the form of ATP. That's what it's going to be making. It's going to be making that ATP from the breakdown of glucose and oxygen. From the breakdown of glucose and oxygen, typically. It could be just glucose, but we'll talk about that later. All right, and it happens in the cell. In what part of the cell? The cytoplasm and the mitochondria. So it happens in the mitochondria and the cytoplasm in every eukaryotic cell, right? Plants, animals, um, fungus, and protists. The purpose of, of cellular respiration, um, it's not the same as respiration. Respiration is where you're breathing in and out and you're exchanging the gases. It is related to respiration because that oxygen you breathe in is carried by your red blood cells to every one of your cells of your body, along with sugar, all right? And your cells break that sugar and oxygen down to make ATP. So the purpose of it is to uh, provide energy in the form of a compound called ATP for the cell to be breaking down uh, sugar and oxygen. Um, here is the chemical equation. Uh, and, but again, I would say it's actually a series of chemical reactions, like 30 to 40 chemical reactions. 
And so it's a large amount of chemical reactions, but this is the summary of it. All right, and it's C. C R C R C six H twelve O six. That's glucose. It starts off with that. I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller. Plus six O two, that is oxygen. Oxygen gas. All right, and these are what, what would we call these? The things that you start with in a chemical reaction? They are the reactants. And what does it produce? Carbon dioxide, CO2. All right, and it doesn't just produce one CO2, it actually produces six CO2. It produces six water molecules. And this is gonna be our water. And it produces energy, it releases energy. That energy can be used to make ATP, all right? And energy can be used to make ATP, all right? So that it releases energy and that energy is used to make ATP. Uh, this is an exothermic reaction because it releases energy. So these things had more energy in their chemical bonds, but when their bonds break, they make these bonds, but then there's still extra energy left over and that energy can be used to make ADP and P become ATP. Uh, the reaction is almost a reverse of what? What does it look like? It's got glucose, it's got oxygen, it's got carbon dioxide, and it's got water. What, what reaction is almost the exact same? If you look at photosynthesis, it's got carbon dioxide and water, glucose and oxygen. This is almost the opposite, almost. Glucose and oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water. Glucose, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water. So it's almost, photosynthesis is almost a reverse uh, uh, and of cellular respiration and vice versa here. It's almost a reverse of photosynthesis. All right, and sugar for humans is attained by eating. When we eat, we get our sugar. Uh, oxygen is obtained by, for humans, it is by breathing. Uh, the blank cells move oxygen and sugar to each and every cell. All right, the red blood cells. The red blood cells in humans move oxygen sugar to each and every cell so that each cell can do cellular respiration. So this is actually kind of what, this is what I'll kind of get into is that this is kind of part of the reason why you eat and breathe, okay? So that you can do cellular respiration, which provides the, the cell energy, all right? And what type of energy it does this process inside the cell. It takes glucose and oxygen, uh, it makes carbon dioxide and water and releases energy. And that energy is used to make ATP, all right? So ATP is the energy compound that is used in cells. Uh, and this happens again in the cytoplasm and the mitochondria. That's why we call it the powerhouse of the cell because that's where it does this reaction here. It makes this, it's, it's the place where energy is made or energy compound, not really energy being made, but energy compound being made. The red blood cells also pick up waste products, which are um, carbon dioxide, and water, carbon dioxide and water. They take the carbon dioxide to the lungs, the lungs. They take the, the red blood cells, take the waste products, these carbon dioxide and this water, take it to the lungs and expel it. And the lungs take in more oxygen and give it to the red blood cells. The red blood cells take the excess water to the kidneys and release it there. And if you have extra water, that's going to be uh, put into the bladder and you're gonna pee it out. 
all right? Um, but again, this is the process of cellular respiration. You're, you have this glucose and this oxygen and it's gonna produce carbon dioxide and water. And it also produces ATP. All right, and so that's what we wanna emphasize. This, there's in all living things, including bacteria, they all are doing some form of this cellular respiration. They're not doing, doing exactly the same, but they're all doing some form of cellular respiration so that they can make this energy compound called ATP. So this is a very important compound that the cell uses for its energy. And so, and they make it by the process of cellular respiration. So all living things are gonna do some version of this. All right, and we're gonna get into the details coming up soon. Um, here are a couple of pictures I wanted to show you real quick. Here is the mitochondria, all right? And that's where, again, ATP is made. Here's the chloroplast and its parts. And this is where uh, sugar, glucose is made. Um, this process right here shows, um, shows uh, the process of cellular respiration in detail. We're going to get into the detail of this that's happening, but if you look, it's happening in the cytoplasm, but it's also happening in the mitochondria. It's happening in both places. Uh, photosynthesis is taking place only in that chloroplast, and these stacks called grana and, or phallicoids, and then it's also happening in this area where there's the liquid, which is called the stroma. Um, the photosynthesis can be broken up into the light reactions and the dark reactions or the light dependent and the light independent reactions. We're going to get to that coming up soon. And this again shows the cell right here. And again, uh, the mitochondria, both the mitochondria, this, the plant has a mitochondria. So this is not done just by animal cells. Cellular respiration is done by plant cells and by animal cells, it's done by both. But photosynthesis is only done by plant cells. And again, the purpose of cellular respiration is to make that ATP. All right, and the purpose of this is to make that sugar. All right, and so that's what we want to emphasize. All right, I hope that helps. What you're gonna do next is you're going to do this worksheet that looks like, let me show you. Do this worksheet, it looks like this. You do the other side, all right? And when you do that worksheet, it's gonna help you prepare for our test coming up. So our quiz, which I'm looking at as early as possibly as Wednesday. All right, and so that's what I wanna emphasize. Do that, I hope you have a good day, bye.